Stompers from San Francisco. I made these in the van on a uh, couple days ago when I was kind of bored and needed something to do. I made new shirts for us. <laughs> They're actually um, initials, an abstracted initial, E for Eric, I for Indra, and D for Dave. <laughs> band is always a struggle and it, uh, you know, it just came to the point where we were just looking through records to like just get an idea for a name so numbers was it. It was it was hard to come up with a name actually so we just like we went through other things like we thought maybe we could call ourselves Die because it was the first initials of each of our names then we thought that might be too goth so <laughs> We were looking around and we were listening to Computer World one day and just like, you know, we love that album and thought Numbers would be a cool name. Did you get to see Crawford live when they come to Cameroon? Yeah, we did. Yeah. We did. And, uh, and it was fucking amazing. Was that so good. Or something like that? Yeah, yeah, it was like 98, 98 in yeah. San Francisco. And awesome. um, I think it's probably the best show I've ever seen. It was amazing. <laughs> Melt Banana. I'm a big fan of Melt Banana. I love their new album, Soulscape. It's so good. We did we did a little tour with them um, in June. It's really really fun. Um, but I've been a fan of theirs for a long time. And I really like Lilliput. Like Lilliput, yeah. Old girl punk band from Europe. And what do you like? Um, there's a lot of the. Late 70s, early 80s bands like the English art punk bands and the New York No Wave bands influenced me a lot. Suicide is another one. in the same town in Madison, Wisconsin, and uh, Dave and I started going out 
and he was in a band with this guy. This guy here. This guy, Eric. Um, and my roommate at the time, so then I met, I met those guys through my roommate, and then um, we started going out, and then, and then we all moved to San Francisco together. And then after a couple of years, they were in this other band out in San Francisco called Zerobot. And then uh, after, well actually, they broke up right away. But then after a couple of years, we were all sort of looking for something to do, so we started playing together. We're actually really inspired by this band that we're trying with right now, Ray Serrata. We, we, were, we were already kind of playing together, but we didn't really, we weren't really excited about anything that was happening in San Francisco. And then we saw them, and we decided to do a show after we saw them. So they're like, we're touring with them now. It's totally awesome because uh, they're one of our favorite bands, and they, they're sort of one of the reasons we started being a real band. So it's nice. <laughs> In San Francisco, there's like a lot of people that are into electronic music that are also in bands and into regular bands. There's a lot of crossover. And um, I think that Miguel, who is Kid 606, who runs the label, was kind of looking to move his label into kind of a different direction and make it a little wider. And um, so uh, that just kind of happened like that through, through the intermediary of Gold Chains, who's a mutual friend of ours and his. So, it's like a local connection. Yeah, I mean, it, I, I mean, I was kind of surprised when I heard he wanted to put out our record, but I'm really glad. It's like a really awesome label to be on, and I think we just sort of have a similar philosophy or something to the guy that runs it, Miguel. Yeah, he's, he's really, it's changing a lot. He's, he's a, he has a Black Dice record out. He has the numbers eraser out of split. He's doing crack, which is more it's electronic, but it's kind of more like a live band. It's, it's kind of a rock band, and uh, the total shutdown record is coming out on that, and that's like a total like spaz rock band, and uh, it's, you know, it's, it's just getting really diverse. I just didn't think that anybody would have heard of us over there. And pretty much everywhere we went, like a pretty good sized crowd would come to see us. And except for the night the war broke out. Yeah, that was that was a bummer. <laughs> and uh, we happened to be in Germany and we played at an anarchist squat and nobody was into us that night. Well they but, were but there were just not that many people there and they were you know, there were people they, that were that were psyched, but they weren't that many. Yeah. But um but it was just really exciting to like go to, for example, like we went to Grenoble, France, which is tiny little, uh, you know, ski resort town, and it was a packed out show. There were kids, you know, singing along to some of the songs. It's like, how the hell did you guys hear our record? But um, so that was really exciting, and um, plus the food's really good over there, and um, we met a lot of cool people, and so. it was great. And we want to go back, and we will, hopefully.
that record is largely a development of being on the label that we're on, which is fine, you know, and we, we like it, and we like the record, and we like the remixes, but, you know, we're a rock band, so we're not, you know, that's, that's not really, like, what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, we're not going to change our sound or anything, yeah. you know. But it's, it's cool. I think it's awesome to have people remix our songs. It's really interesting to see what people do with it. I'm into that. All right, thanks a lot. I'll let you go. Thank you. Okay, thanks.